Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie and I have a word for someone today. A message from the Heavenly Father to his child. Your Heavenly Father is talking to you. <laughs> if you're watching this video, he's talking to you. He led you to watch this video. Okay. Sometimes we can make mistakes and it's okay. It's okay if you've made a mistake. None of us are perfect yet. We're all attaining to perfection through the sanctification process, ministry of Holy Spirit, as we surrender and submit every area of our lives to his leading and guidance. The purification of the fire and trials and tribulations and testings that may come. We're attaining to perfection, to be just like Jesus, holy as he is holy, pure as he is pure, holy, pure, godliness, blameless. None of us are perfect yet. If you've made a mistake, please, if you need to, forgive yourself. But don't be hard on yourself anymore, please. Someone's made a mistake. And Father is saying, it's okay. It's okay. If you need to, forgive yourself. And move on. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. It's okay. Okay, that's the first part of the message. It's all right. If you don't do everything 100% correct, it's okay if you make mistakes. It's okay if you don't, if you're not where you think you should be by now. We are his workmanship. Our part is just surrendering and submitting to him and let Holy Spirit do his work in and through us. Who are we to come against his workmanship? We're his workmanship. It's okay if you make a mistake. It's all right if you don't get everything right. Okay? And like I said, if you need to, forgive yourself if you've done something that you feel is not right and not good. Forgive yourself. Receive that forgiveness. Know that it's done and move on. Move forward. None of us are perfect yet. Please don't put that expectation on yourself or anyone else. No one's perfect yet, but we're attaining to it. Hallelujah. The second part of the message. This is still, I'm still speaking to somebody here. You are not a mistake. God doesn't do mistakes. He is perfect. <laughs> we're still attaining to be just like Jesus. We're still attaining to be like our Lord who was perfect, who is perfect. He made no mistakes. He makes no mistakes. You who are watching this video right now, you're not a mistake. You're not an accident. Regardless of what you might have heard from somebody else or own thoughts or demonic thoughts that may have come to you in your lifetime, you're not a mistake. God doesn't do mistakes. When I was a little girl, I overheard my mum talking to her friend that I was an accident, that I wasn't meant to happen, a mistake. <laughs> so a demon of rejection ensured that other people would speak that towards me, about me, and I would believe it, that I was a mistake all my life. I thought I was a mistake. I shouldn't have happened. No, Jesus told me, let me know the truth. I was not a mistake. I was planned. I was chosen. I was accepted in the beloved. I was his, predestined to be his. I was never an accident. And you who's watching this video right now, you weren't an accident and you weren't a mistake. You're predestined 
to be his. Brought forth for such a time as this. You are important. You are precious. You're meant to be. I want to read to you Psalm 119, 1 to 18. Hear what the Word of God says about you. Okay, now I, I know that the Lord asked me to read this out. He said, read it out. I said, okay then. So I grabbed my Bible and I'm going to read it out. You need to hear the truth. This is the truth I'm about to speak. Psalm 119, 1 to 18. You ready? If you've got your Bible there, you can join me. And let's do it together. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down. You are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue. But behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. You have hedged me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. Hallelujah. If I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you, but the light, the night, shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance. Being yet unformed. And in your book, <clears throat> they were all written, the days fashioned from me. When as yet, there were none of them. How precious also are your thoughts toward me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Someone needs to hear that. That's the truth. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Your days were fashioned before you were even born. Predestined to be a child of God. A daughter and son of God. Accepted in the beloved. You are loved. You are accepted. You are chosen. Wanted. You're not a mistake. You're not an accident. You're meant to be. We're all born into a fallen world. Maybe we didn't have parents that knew Christian values or the things of God and maybe we lived a life that wasn't very nice. That wasn't God's fault. But he uses all things together for our good. Whatever we've been through, if we turn to him, it builds us up. It makes us stronger in him. It becomes a story that we can share to others, a testimony of his goodness. I don't blame God for the horrible life I had and things that happened to me as a child. I thank him for what he's done in my life. I thank him for showing me the truth. I was not a mistake. I was not an accident. I've been set free from that demon of rejection, self-rejection and perceived rejection. Once the truth comes, demons flee. They hate the truth. The truth sets us free. Please know, you're not a mistake. You're not a mistake. Oh, no, you're not. Everything God does is good. 
everything he does is good. If you're watching this video, marvellous are his works. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're important. You are precious. You are worthy to be loved and honoured and respected. To be treated as such. Okay? That's not something that you've done to deserve that. That's his incredibly unconditional love. His perfect love for us. He predestined us to be his. He brought us forth for such a time as this. He chose us before the foundation of the world to be his child. Satan and his realms of darkness might try to might have tried to influence our walk and our lives. But when we turn to Jesus, he sets us free and shows us the truth about ourselves and whom we're meant to be in God. And then the sanctification process starts. And we will walk and become whom God truly called us to be. Hallelujah! <laughs> it's a constant surrendering and giving oneself over to him. So his spirit who is within us, Holy Spirit, can minister to us. Heal our hearts. Set us free from demonic influences. And walk in the full freedom that we have in our Lord Jesus. What he's done for us on the cross. And still doing for us now. We look to him. We look to our Lord Jesus. Please know. It's okay if you make a mistake. It's okay. We're not perfect yet. It's all right. Forgive yourself. Even if you haven't done anything just forgive yourself just say i forgive myself i'm not perfect yet i'm not perfect yet i'm attaining to it the holy spirit is making me just like my lord jesus holy and pure and blameless in him hallelujah but none of us are there yet we're a work in progress which is not an excuse to sin and say I'm a work in progress. No. It just means don't be hard on yourself, please. Can you love yourself? Father loves you. I love you. Love yourself, please. Don't be hard on yourself. It's okay if you make a mistake. And you're not a mistake. You never were an accident or a mistake. You're meant to be. You're the apple of his heart, or apple of his eye. A precious, precious child to him. He's beloved. And he loves you so much. Please read Psalm 139, 1 to 18 again. And ask him to show him, ask him to show you the truth about who you really are in him. Your identity in Christ. Who he's called you forth to really be. Not the lies that you believed about yourself. Your parents might have said. Other people said. What he says about you. To know your identity. Your true identity in him. And know that you are worthy. You're loved. You're precious. You're accepted. You're chosen. You are wanted. You were never a mistake. God doesn't do mistakes. So Holy Spirit, please, every person who's watching this video, have they ever perceived rejection, felt rejection, that they were a mistake, an accident? Please minister to their hearts, heal their hearts, set them free from any demonic influence of rejection, self-rejection or perceived rejection, shame, Thank you, Lord. Anything that would make them feel unworthy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Set them free. Heal their hearts. Thank you. They're not a mistake. That they will know the truth, please, Holy Spirit, and they be set free from the lies and deceptions of the enemy. 
and Holy Spirit minister to their hearts if they made mistakes. To know they're not perfect yet, but they're attaining to it. Thank you. Heal their hearts for any mistakes they've made in the past. Know that they're forgiven. If they repent and renounce it, they're forgiven. The blood of Jesus washes them clean. They're cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just touch them right where they are, please. Holy Spirit, just have your way right now for everyone who's watching. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you. I thank you for the truth to come to their minds, the truth to come to their emotions and to their bodies. Maybe self-hatred to leave them, please, Holy Spirit. Self-hatred to leave them. Self-rejection to leave them. Thank you, Holy Spirit that they will love themselves as our Lord Jesus loves them and accepts them and the beloved. That they'll know the truth, please, Holy Spirit. Please bring the truth to their hearts. Soften hardened hearts. And any strongholds of self-hatred, self-rejection, to be torn down, dismantled, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way right now. He's doing that. Thank you. Oh, bless you, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Thank you. Minister to their hearts. If they've made mistakes, or believe themselves to be a mistake, an accident. Bring healing, please. Thank you. And restore to them the truth. Restore to them who they really are. Who they really are in their Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, God bless you all. Rewind this video. Watch it again. Please hear the truth. Please hear what your Heavenly Father is saying to you. You're his precious child. You're not a mistake. You're not an accident. And if you make a mistake, it's okay. It's okay. We're all going to make mistakes. It's okay. Let's move on. Move on. He's watching over you. He loves you. And he wants the best for you. His thoughts towards you are of good not of evil of peace a future and a hope and many are these thoughts towards you many he loves you god bless you all i'll see you in the next video Mwah. bye bye